Coach's Corner as we get ready for the battle down 102 tonight between Bentonville and the West Wolverines and Coach Pratt kind enough to join us and it's here again a conference championship uh, opportunity for your uh, players once again for the third straight year. Yeah, it's time we time we actually win one right uh, you know we've been in this situation this is the third year it says a lot about uh, the uh, the whole school system of Bentonville for a team to split and uh, still both those teams being the conference championship uh, three years in a row. You know, we're proud of that. They're, they're a huge rival of ours, but also uh, have a lot of respect for them. Very good program, very well coached. And, uh, we, you know, we hope they say the same thing about us. And uh, so uh, it, will be a, it will be your typical battle as we talk to our kids this week. This is, this is what it's all about. It's going to be cold. It's going to be playoff right. atmosphere. Uh, it's going to be two great teams coming together and battle for a championship. That's what it's all about. And what does it mean to the community and to the school to have it here at, on the West Campus for the first time this year? Well, it is for the first time. It seems like we always go over there, so it will be a little unique situation. Uh, like we've said before, uh, playing at home for us is huge. And, uh, you know, over the course of the last two years, over the two years that we've been here, uh, it, it's gotten more and more like home. And so we're looking forward to the opportunity to be able to, to play these guys at, at our house instead of at their house every year. Now, last week, Luke Miller comes back, and we were talking, Coach Mackey and I, during the broadcast, that after, when you come back from an injury, after that first hit and you get up and you're fine, it's kind of like, okay, everything's back to normal now. Well, I'll be honest with you, Luke, uh, who is our Offensive Player of the Week, uh, just because uh, my, my initial plan last week when we talked was, uh, was to uh, get him about 10 or 15 reps, you know, 10 or 15 uh, touches and, and just let him get uh, gradually make his way back. Uh, that was before uh, the injury bug, the sick bug, all the things that went out. And uh, we're in a situation where he has 22 carries, plays 70 snaps, and, uh, you know, played really hard. And he made some mistakes uh, that you're going to make when you come back because you're not used to the speed of the game and, uh, and the, uh, you know, everything's happened faster than you're used to it. Uh, but uh, he was able to adapt fairly well and did some really good things. Now for this week, and, and at any time you're playing for any kind of conference championship, taking advantage of every opportunity is probably at the top of your board of uh, priorities tonight. Uh, the, the number one thing is to, uh, to win a turnover battle. And, uh, you know, I think every year we've played them, they beat us in special teams. And that's a challenge that we have as a coaching staff to try to win the special teams. Uh, you know, two years ago, we probably beat them by a couple of touchdowns, but uh, Cameron Hunt runs back two kickoffs. And, uh, you know, things like that that we can't have happen. We also got to uh, not go three and out in the first series like we've done the last three years. And, you know, they're really good defensively and very, very well coached. They fly the ball really well. Uh, we've got to make sure we take advantage and do our responsibility and just be us. And we talk about this every week, but. It Keys to the victory, worry about yourselves first, I would imagine. Yeah, we, we don't want to, uh, we want to take care of us. And I think too much when you get in big games, kids try to do more than what you, what you want them to do. Just do your job, trust your teammates to do theirs, and understand there's going to be some adversity on both of us. Uh, and, and how you handle that adversity is going to define who's, who's going to win the game. Have you, do you remember a call of football season with this? It feels like this is the fourth cold weather game in a row. I told somebody the other day, where's fall? You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm the 50, 60 temperature yeah. guy. That's what I like. And then this 40s and 30s. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, if you're, if you're going to play in big games, they're going to be cold. And uh, you better get used to it. So it's going to probably get colder as we go. And, and that's part of the game. All right, Coach, good luck. Thank you Thank so you. much. It's head Coach Brian Pratt. We'll have more of our pregame show as the Wolverines get ready to take on the Tigers coming up after this.